Hello and welcome to this video for Excel chapter two, or excuse me, not chapter two, chapter three, hands-on exercise number two. So you do need to open up this file, but we're working on hands-on exercise number two of Excel chapter three. We're on page 569 in your textbook, page 569. Um, and we're going to get started here with it. First off, we're going to start by edit editing and formatting the chart title. So we last time we learned how to just create the charts, select the different ranges. Now we're going to actually get into formatting them. So step A says open up this file. And of course, um, we're going to just do a slight name change. So file, save as, it should hopefully be in the correct folder. And then of course, I'm choosing browse. And I'm just switching it from H1 to H2. And I'm going to push Enter. And then, that's just step A. Step B says, make sure the combo chart sheet is the active sheet. So, combo chart sheet. So down here, I need to be on this one. And it says, select the chart title placeholder. So up here, this is our chart title placeholder. That's what that is called. And we need to type in here for the title number, of new computer related jobs by 2020. So um, you can see it showing up here in the top. I'm going to push enter and it changes my title right here. So number of new computer related jobs by 2020. Make sure you're double checking your typing and spelling because you should be capitalizing the correct way. You should be making sure it's spelled properly. This is all part of the exercise. You want this to look nice, you want it to look professional. Step C, it says click the Home tab, which I'm already on. It says click Bold. So we just made our title bold. Click the Font Color Arrow, which is right here, and select Black, which is pretty much uh, it was a gray before. Step D, it says click the Pie Chart Sheet tab. So Pie Chart Worksheet. And it says click the chart title placeholder again. And we're typing in new computer related jobs. Jobs by 2020. And I push enter and you can see it put it in. So it isn't changing mine until I push enter. That'll probably be the same with yours. And of course we push enter. Um, it says here in the instructions. And then same thing, we go to the home tab, we're already there. We make it bold. Change the font size to 18, so I'm just gonna click twice. And then it says, click the font color arrow and choose black again. All right, step F. It says, click the column chart worksheet tab. So column chart worksheet tab. Then it says, click on the chart title placeholder. And of course, this time we're typing in number of computer related, oh, let me, I missed my hyphen there, related jobs 2010 and 2020. And then it says to push enter. So you can see it looks like this. And then we are choosing to make it bold. We do need to change it to size 18 for the font and then choose black, which I'm just gonna click on the button here because it's set to the color I want. Step G, click the Outlook Sheet tab. Outlook Sheet tab. Click the chart title, which I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here so we can see it. And then the chart title placeholder and type in projected number of jobs by 2020. And then press enter. So it looks like this, projected number of jobs by 2020. And same thing, we're making it bold. We're making sure the font is 14. We're gonna click the font color arrow and choose dark blue in the standard colors section. So dark blue, which I think is actually this one, yeah. And there you go, that's step number one. Step two, we're adding and formatting axis titles and format axes. So. Step A, ensure that the bar chart is selected in the Outlook worksheet. So I'm gonna click here in the chart area, 
so it's just selected and not the title here and that says click chart elements to the right of the chart which this is it right here chart elements I click on that then it says for step B point to axis titles and it says click the axis titles arrow and then it says click primary vertical box check box is selected and you can see it put this axis title here and it says to close the menu so I'm just going to click over here to close it. It says make sure that the axis title placeholder is selected, which mine is. And it says type job titles. So since it's selected, I just type job titles. And then I press enter. And that changes how it looks. Then step D, it says click font color to apply the dark blue font color to the selected axis. So I go up here and I click on font color and it switches it for me. Then step E, it says point to the horizontal axis. So step E, point to the horizontal axis, which is this one right here. Point to it, you can see it shows up here in the screen tip and it says double click the values. So I did that. And that says click the display units arrow. So when I double clicked it, this format access box came up. Down here near the bottom um, half display units, we're supposed to click the arrow and choose thousands. <clears throat> and now of course it displays values such as 700 instead of 700,000, so that's nice. Then step G, it says click the home tab. And it says select the title thousands down here, and then apply uh, excuse me apply the dark blue font color in the font group. So I just go up here, click this. It changes it for me. It says to close the format access pane, which is this one up here, and of course save your workbook. So that's step two. We're now on step three. We're going to add and format data labels. Add and format data labels. Step A. It says click the pie chart sheet tab down here and of course we're going to click on chart elements it's this plus sign over here to the right it says we need to click the data labels arrow so I move over it I click on the arrow and I need to choose center and you can see those data labels come up and then it says right click one of the data labels so I'm going to do that right here. These are the data labels, the numbers. And we're choosing to format data labels, this one in the bottom here. This is step C. Step D, we're going to click Label Options. So right up here, click Label Options, the arrow next to it. We're going to click the percentage checkbox. So let me try this again. Oh, excuse me, this is the one. Um, so it click label options. So these are already actually visible. So we're going to check the percentage checkbox, and then click the value checkbox to deselect it. So we're selecting percentage, we're deselecting value, and then we're going to close the format. So you can see it put it as percentages instead of numbers. All right. Then step E. It says change the font size to 18. to make the data labels larger and then save your workbook. Step four, it says point to the chart area, the white space in the chart. It's right here. And it says double click when you see the chart area screen tip. So I can see it, I'm gonna double click. You can see format chart area comes over here. And it says click the fill and line icon in the format chart area task pane. So over here, this is it. Um, I don't have to click it, it already comes up. It says to click fill, and then it says, it displays the different options. Then it says to click picture or texture fill, which is right here about in the middle. I click on that. It gives me a bunch of different options here. And then it says click the blue tissue paper. 
Oh, excuse me, click the texture arrow. So over here, here's texture. We'll click on the arrow, choose blue tissue paper. So this is denim, that's water droplets. It looks like blue tissue paper is right here. So I'm, let's see, one, two, three, four down, um, four rows down, second column. It looks like this. Step D, click the 26% orange accent to slice. So over here, this one. I click on the one slice. Oh, let me try this again. I click on the one slice and then click on it again to select just the data point. There we go. And you'll notice it changes the format data point. I wanted to make sure I had it right. So I click once, and I wait and click twice, or excuse me, a second time, and it should come up like this. Step E, complete the following steps to format the selected data point. It says click the fill line icon. So over here, fill and line icon, click solid fill. And it says click the color arrow, which is over here, and choose dark red from the standard colors. So it's this first one right here, dark red. Then it says, click the series option icon. Series option icon, which I believe is this one, yes. Um, and then we are going to click point explosion uh, and we're gonna actually go and change this to 5%. So I'm backspace. 5%, I'm going to push enter, and you can see the point explosion is basically it pushes it away from the rest of the pie. So we change the fill color, we're making it stand out. Step F, it says to click the 6% database administrator's slice. So it's up here, 6%. And we only have to click on it once. Click the fill and line icon. It's that paint bucket right here under series options. We're going to click solid fill again. And we're going to click the color arrow, which is down here. And we're going to choose orange from orange accent two. So I believe it's this one. And that says close the format data point task crane. So up here, format data point, close it. And we can see the new color. And then step G, it says to save the workbook. And that is the end of our exercise. So let me go through these worksheets for you. It's the same number, same titles, hasn't changed. Um, but this is what the Outlook one looks like. We've made some changes to it. We have our combo chart, which it, um, other than the title, we didn't really touch. We have, of course, our pie chart, which we did make more changes to. And then our column chart which we changed the title to. So, and that of course is how you complete Excel chapter three, hands-on exercise number two.